Intro to Banjo 101. We're going to be learning the claw hammer style of playing. To start with, today, we're going to learn how to hold the banjo. Now, there's a lot of flexibility in this, and you'll hear a lot of different opinions about how to hold the banjo. I'm going to show you the common ways that I've seen it held, and the way that I find to be most comfortable. So the first way um, is to place it on your right leg, and I'm about giving a little bit of space between my body and the banjo. Then I'm going to take my arm, place it on top of there, and the weight of that is going to hold the banjo so it doesn't slip down. So you've got to find sort of that axle point of where it balances. So that way you're not using this left hand to lift your banjo up. You're going to find you get really tired out if you're doing that. This also allows you to hear the banjo coming um, from the back of the instrument. Remember, this is a drum, so there's a lot of noise coming that way. So by holding your banjo like that, it allows you pretty good access here, and your left hand is free to move up and down the neck. I tend to just have my thumb sort of on the back of the banjo about like that, being very careful to not smash my, hand, uh, smash my hand against the neck. I want to leave some space there. So, something like this. That would be your first way of holding it. The other way I see a lot of people hold their banjo is more like this, where it's placed between your two legs and the neck is a lot higher up. That does deaden some of the sound because it's also pressed against your body as you're playing. That allows a little bit more of um, a rest for your shoulder and your right arm though, and then it doesn't have to be quite so high up and using that pressure. So here, your right arm can be down. Everything becomes more angled. A little bit more muted in sound. But your hands are basically doing the same thing. Trying as much as possible not to hold the banjo here, but I do find that when I was playing it, uh, and started off holding it this way, this left arm became really tired out. So either from just having, to, I guess I have a lazy arm, having to hold my arm up like that or hold the banjo up was kind of exhausting. But a lot of people find this to be really a comfortable way of playing. So try that too. And then the way that I have found that um, is most comfortable for me is to use a strap I keep it fairly short so the banjo is not actually resting against my lap. It's just here against my torso. And it's similar in position to when we had the banjo here on our leg. It's a fairly horizontal banjo and my arm can rest here. Um, I'm hearing a little bit of sound coming out from the back of the banjo about this. This part of the banjo is uncovered so I'm hearing some of that. Um, but it is also a little bit muted here against my body. But that allows it to be that my left hand and my right hand can both be in a fairly relaxed state. Um, and then I can have flexibility to move up and down the neck without holding the banjo. And then my right hand is gonna be in this claw shape, like so. Imagine I'm just holding a pencil there or something with my fingers. And that sets me up to do the boom ditty rhythm, which is coming next. Hi there, I'm Dakota Carver. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn a little bit about claw hammer banjo. I hope you come back again. There's lots of good things ahead. If you enjoyed this video, please follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my Patreon account, or find out more about what I do at dakotacarver.com or my folk music school called The Cat and the Fiddle. That's www.thecatandthefiddlewv.com. See you next time.